Today is the shoe for Mind Misguided's clothing collab. This is JLXMG Part 2. The big reveal is finally here, guys. I... <laughs> yes, I am here to share with you my Misguided collab. Jordan Lipscomb, X Misguided, the Tonals collection. Basically just trending tonal pieces, colours, whatever, to ease you into the next season. Crazy, right? Like, the first time we did it was mad, but a second time? I don't even know what to say. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I cannot, just to you guys, to Misguided, my management, my family, friend, whatever. It has been an honour, and to be able to share a piece of me in this form with you guys is real special, and I hope you love it. Let's go. Kick starting this off with a classic Jordan Lipscomb look, a tracksuit. This fits amazing. Like, I'm not just saying that because it's mine. <laughs> Real nice, comfy, oversized type of fit. I mean, you can tell from the joggers, they are high-waisted. Puffed bottom as well, but they have a loose fit to them. The jumper is, of course, that same sort of oversized loose fit. High neck, long cuff sleeves, which I think is it like a more premium type of feel. I don't know if you guys can tell on camera, but it's actually quilted. It's got that effect to it, that stitching. It's a really, really cool print to it as well. Not like the standard quilt. The misguided JLXMG. If you didn't no, by the way, if you're new around here, JLXMG just stands for Jordan Lipscomb X Misguided. I love this tracksuit so much. Guys, obviously it had to be in black, but we also have a chocolate version as well. I cannot choose my favorite. I bet you can't either. <laughs> by the way, this color palette that we got going on, like the chocolate with like the really pale like lemon shade, kind of like the color story of the collection. You'll see it a lot, but I mean, I am biased, but this is honestly the perfect tracksuit. Like it Oh, it just looks so cool. Or if you wanted to, you could kind of tuck the sides in to give it some shape. Tuck it underneath like a bra if you want to wear it cropped. I love me a casual item, but sometimes I just feel like we need something a little bit dressy. Oh my god. This is the print of the collection. The like fresh kind of dot illusion print. Fun fact, it started off being marble. And then this is what we finished with. Way prefer this. One thing in particular that I will say about this set is dead flattering. Like, hello boobs. Let me stand back so you can see it. So you can see them from the bottom. They do actually have a split. It's also double layered around the bum area. So it's not see-through. This top, this is multi-way. So you can literally decide how you want this to sit. You get the bit around the back that you tie. These bits actually move the cups so you can wear them where you want. No matter what your boob size, you should be able to fit it in. So if I was to, look, pull it, I can make it a really small cup. Or you can make it big. The bit around your neck, you can cross over how you want. I do have an alternative for this though. It is a black version. Currently don't have the trousers physically with me right now to show you, but I will show you the top. Here she is. I've tried this one differently so you can see it in a different way. I love these tops on their own too. The thing is, as a set, it's wicked because it's like an entire vibe, but imagine this with like a nice pair of jeans and some heels. These tops are like that 360 top. Like no matter what angle you're at, it looks, it looks great. Next up, I think this could be one of my favorite pieces in the entire collection, but I don't have everything, but it's such an individual piece in the collection. I love it. She is to die for. I knew somewhere in the collection we had to have some sort of jacket and the fact that we brought to life this like Borg, almost like Teddy zip up jacket is amazing. And why I love this as well is because it's so like versatile. Wear it undone like this and then you just have like a big like throw on or if you want, you can zip her up and there's actually adjustables at the bottom that sort of, you can bring it tighter and bring it in. So you could almost wear it like this, like almost like a, not a crop, but like, or you could literally just pull it down. I like to then sort of like zip it up. Low key kind of becomes a dress. I mean, I wouldn't go out without shorts underneath because I'm not saying you're gonna be safe. <laughs> Premium piece of the collection. It just feels incredible. The 21 stitching to obviously just represent the year the collection launched. One of the best front pieces, honestly. Like it doubles up as literally everything. This is a staple for me in my wardrobe. I mean, obviously. Earlier when I said about having something underneath to kind of keep your modesty, I have the perfect thing. Let me just, allow me to just, Yes, this is part of the collection. These are my like, almost like dressier cycling shorts. Same material as the top actually. It's like really stretchy, like soft, figure hugging. Hopefully on camera you can see down the side, they're like all ruched. They're just such a flattering pair of shorts. The waist accent is really cool because you can just tie them together, like two bits of string, one at the front, one at the back. Extra pair of cycling shorts. Like we've all got cycling shorts in our wardrobe, right? Do we necessarily have one that's like a little bit spicy? 
Well, you could now. <laughs> be right back. I'm going to show you the next pieces. Another casual piece in this collection. I say that, but to be honest with you guys, it really depends how you wear it. Like, if I was to put a pair of heels with this, it's not as casual anymore. Right, this is about to sound like I'm sucking my own collection's dick, right? I am. <laughs> thing is with this collection right we've designed pieces that you can literally for example you could pair like a pair of trainers with this and it's casual or heels and a clutch go out that way you get the most out of the pieces in your wardrobe which brings me on to this this beautiful lemon oh, i don't know if it's coming up on camera it's like a really really pale lemon amazing quilted joggers it's the same sort of quilt style as the tracksuit high waisted pockets the waist detail by the way you cross over the waist bits and then step into it you just have to give like a little like wiggle <laughs> keeping it real these are long i'm gonna stand back in a sec to show you these are the misguided like standard length for this type of thing depending on what shoes you wear will obviously depend on height as well but if you're my height or shorter i give it a little roll and i actually love the way that that looks soft they're like thick as well like a really really nice quality then available is this cool little almost like kind of like half cropped vest same lemon shade and guys i wanted these to be a staple in your wardrobe right but i didn't want it to just be plain and like kind of boring this is the design that i wanted throughout the entire collection like a little label and then of course we've gone for john lipscomb x misguided official collection as the writing in it this to me is how we've like branded us together on stuff like not on everything I wanted like Joel XMG or like and you already know that I've got this piece in two different colors so we've got the lemon and we also have this set in this light gray as well which you guys know is my favorite shade of gray isn't she amazing I literally don't know which one is my thing obsessed this to me is like another must-have in the collection like it's in my top faves couldn't do this range though without a some a few <laughs> oversized t-shirts and the ones we designed for this range let me show you the first colorway such a classic. I mean, come on. 100% I needed a white one. I find myself grabbing white t-shirts so much. I think they look great with denim. I mean, it's white. It looks literally good with everything, but material, I wanted to obviously make sure that it wasn't see-through. So we've gone obviously more on the thicker side. I mean, I still have on the gray underneath, but let me push it up. So then my nips are out <laughs> and you can see even if I move it up, like you can't see nip, we're good. I also wanted it to be more on the thicker side so it sat more structured. That way when it sits, it has a bit more shape. Can you see like on the arms and stuff how it's got more of like a boxy feel? It's got the perfect oversize. Printed on as well, it's a printed tee and like the writing's almost like vintage, like washed. Colorway number two, I wanted something still wearable but something that still had its own character at the same time, which I feel like this one achieves that guys say hello to her sister this is the gray version but this one we wanted to add in the colors of the collection lemon and the chocolate with the washed effect this is a deeper gray though i mean look this is the gray of the jogger set i'm not saying this goes at all but <laughs> we wanted the t-shirt to have a deeper gray effect to it so it had that more vintage look darker washes can tend to have that effect so yeah sorry guys i just ran off to show you this one this is the last colorway in that tee two colors in one we wanted to color block this just to give you like a fresh new style neutral colors so the chocolate and the nude that way it would go over a lot of stuff i mean i've got on the chocolate tracksuit like the joggers even though the chocolate tracksuit is like a warmer chocolate i feel like it's just like 50 shades of nudes i would not say no to that <laughs> guys i'm not saying that you have to pair these t-shirts with other bits in my collection all i'm trying to show you is that you can do that i wanted nothing else but a mix and match pick and mix collection t-shirts they literally go with everything look joggers jeans denim leggings short skirts t-shirts staple one more thing right now it's funny because in the beginning i was actually debating doing this the flame stuff in the first collection that we did misguided were like jaws why don't we bring that back but like differently or the same but to match this one and i was like uh, have we outdone that then i thought that is where we started and we should never forget where we started so of course i had to get <laughs> guys the jlxmg flame tea is back but in a chocolate Halloway. And to freshen it up even more, we've gone for the 21 on the side and on the back rather than the 19. Don't want to sound like that bitch, but like they're almost like a little like collector's piece at this point. <laughs> Wait, I have a styling idea. Hello! <laughs> Make the most of the fact that this t-shirt has like a graphic bottom to it. I know it has like a really cool graphic back. Lay it up. It's a vibe. Like a cap, some trainers, long socks. My ones. I'll show you in a sec. Sorry, mine are kind of like dirty where I've been wearing the absolute shit out of them, but longer socks, my absolute favorite. I always wear them. So we've got a black pair with the misguided JLXMG browning at the top. And of course, a white pair too. And I think, I think, I think there's maybe a gray pair. I think these come in a pack of three. Anything I wear is always got a long sock. Like with my tracksuits, I like it to peep through. When I wear something shorter and I want like a longer sock, like it's almost becomes like an accessory for me, my socks. Check out the website to see, but... 
obsessed. In this collection, I really, really wanted a pair of shorts. I basically wanted variety everywhere, whether it's trousers, skirts, a dress. These shorts are the dreamiest pair of shorts. I mean, look at them. The way that they fit, look, I'm not even touching them, and they give you shape. Best thing as well, they're made out of a tracksuit material, ridiculously soft. The waist detail is just like two long bits of string, wrap them round, and just tie them in the back. The back is dead easy. You know, like boxers style shorts, like boxing. That. The idea of these side, I said to Miss Guided, look, the aesthetic of like boxer shorts, I want that, but like, let's do it comfortably, but like in a cool, stylish way. And they didn't disappoint. They knew what I was talking about and we just brought these to life. Then to match is this super cropped, almost some people call these arm warmers. I like to see these as like a really unique layering piece. And obviously underneath you can wear what you want. Nice and high neck with the label on the sleeve. I've got this on the sleeve in a couple places. I wanted it to kind of like be different rather than just like slapping on the chest or makes it different just being on the arm. It's like a cool, cool profile. The super crop, we do have it in another color, which is black. These I wanted to be in stable colours because they are a layer and piece. I wanted them to match everything. They match the label stuff really nicely in the collection too because obviously the label's always black, which is wicked. Next piece. Guys, the LB. A wardrobe essential is an LBD. You can never go wrong with a little black dress, but I wanted like a little black dress leveled up. The middle structure came first with all the cutouts and stuff, which I think is so sexy. And then I was like to them, look, let's add sleeves. And in the sleeves, let's do thumb holes as well. You want the ultimate like sexy, but almost still like classy and sophisticated, almost kind of like Kim K, this reminds me. You're heartbroken because your ex is a dick and needs to show up. Hello. You're out with the girls and you want to have a good time and you want to look 10 10. <laughs> Hello. Sleeves are attached by the way, so they're not gonna fall down. This dress as well, I've got it more asymmetric. If you don't want this area out, don't worry because you can literally pull it up and have it straight across like this. Like it's totally up to you. The beauty of this material guys, because it's stretchy and stuff, it just, you can maneuver it where you want it. And if this dress isn't sexy enough or groovy enough, here's another. We have this one too. Two very different dresses, but two very flattering and sexy numbers. Back with the Dot Illusion print in that like satiny, silky, like thick material. Got things going on in the front, right? In the back, we decided to keep quite plain just so there wasn't too much going on. Another thing, this waist bit, Wow. As soon as you cross that over and pull it in, it's kind of placed like right with the waist. The tighter you pull it, the smaller it's gonna look. Also, you could tie these at the back if you want it. Now I know the lower part of our stomach isn't something we're always comfortable with. You should be because you shouldn't give a fuck about what anybody thinks, but I know how it can be. We've ruched it here to kind of take attention away from here. We've got obviously a bit of extra material, a bit more comfortable, small little detail, but it will hopefully make you feel a little bit more comfortable in a dress like this. Next outfit. Denim. I I wanted denim so bad. Misguided were absolute angels and they just pulled this through. And we come up with this awesome denim two-piece. The jeans are like a super casual, I want to say straight leg or is it their mum jeans style? It's a classic style on the Misguided website. I love their denim, so it worked perfectly. Obviously this has got our taste onto it though. So we've got the really light lemon color. This is, the denim is more of an ecru and it's got the contrast stitching, like chocolate contrast stitching. Bottom of the jeans, they go a bit more narrow if you can see that. Braid edging, which I think is really cool. It's the same as this like cropped Denim jacket too, it's got like frayed edging. Misguided's denim is really soft as well, quite flexible, it's comfortable to wear. Um, and not only did we do this colorway, I love the light, but we thought you guys needed a dark alternative too. So we switched it round, we switched the contrast stitching and the color of it round. So we've got the chocolate denim with the more like lemony, ecruy stitching. Denim to me is timeless. You can never go wrong with it, no matter what kind of color or style. And a denim cord. You can't go wrong. Now, another piece of clothing, which I always love to have in my wardrobe, is a check shirt. We've made not one, but two of those. First one is something uh, super classic. This one out of the two is the thinner one. This is like a classic shirt material in this really cool, like gingham style print. Thrown over the top of the chocolate jeans, a little lemon vest, you're done. The fit is nice and oversized, so throw it on, or you can even do it up. That looks cool too. Place the label as well in the bottom corner here, which I really love. It just makes a difference rather than like on the pocket or something. Done up as well, it makes a cute little dress because it's an asymmetric hem, the back is longer. If I strip off to show you, I throw on my little cycling shorts for safety underneath, but this is another way to style it up. The second shirt is actually a shacket. So this is actually thicker. This is like a, if a shirt and a jacket had a baby, thicker check to it, it's more like squares, like block. Darker colorway, of course, as well. We've still got that same label in that bottom corner. Kind of like a fleece material, that's the Best way that I would describe this. It is like an actual jacket like that. The lemon color in this collection, I feel like looks so nice with this shirt. I've obviously just got on the wide leg joggers and the little vest. Check shirts are ticked off. 
Next, another favorite aesthetic of mine is like sports luxe. You guys know combining something sporty and feminine is my jam. And this dress is literally that. This is a little tennis dress. It's in a really comfortable ribbed material, like a stretchy rib. The white has the contrasting lemon color, which I really like. And then it's just, there's no buttons or anything because it doesn't go too low cut. It's not seamless, but like that's kind of the aesthetic I wanted, like 360. I just wanted it to look really clean. Kind of feel like I'm not wearing anything. Like it's that comfortable. I mean, ladies, I'm not even wearing a bra, okay? Do we have another colorway, you ask? Of course we do. Chocolate. Chocolate with the nude color, a darker alternative. Which one is your favorite? Guys, how cute is this? Jacket over the top of the dress. I love that. Layer things up. I know we're about to creep into the more colder months. Doesn't mean you can't wear these pieces. Like wear some like knee high boots with this. These are the casual dresses of the collection. The type that you can wear every single day. And another thing that you can wear every single day is this really cool, just basically like a sweater dress, guys. Lemon shade, we've got the white stitched in 21. Pockets down here, we've got the adjustables down here. These, honestly, this was a must for this piece. You loosen these like this, guys, look. You have a more like looser fit bottom. If you then tighten these, it's like an elastic band and it immediately tightens the bottom for you. You can bring it up as high as you want and then it gives you more, more shape. It brings up a bit higher. A half zip neckline. You've got the longer cuffs. It's quilted. So comfortable, you guys. You throw it on and you're done. The next outfit, right? I wanted a piece that was business from the front, party from the back. And I don't know about you, but I feel like this next one, she does that. She does that. Again, this has to be another firm favorite. I think it just is so, it's sexy, but it's like sophisticated. It's a thicker rib. So it has a little bit more like structure to it. Thumb holes, of course, and the back the back detail this is where it's at for this piece like this is the main feature if you get this please don't be confused it might look a little crazy four bits of string is what you get so you'll get two shorter two longer the two shorter just do up at the back which is the first bow the longer ones wrap around your waist and then you can tie them at the back or you can tie them how you want the leggings as well by the way they have splits here at the bottom the next piece i sneak peek this on my instagram and you guys loved Ooh, and let me tell you okay you can never go wrong with faux leather buttery faux leather guys i wish you could feel this this is just the most soft faux leather ever i want to show you two different versions though so oh, this top by the way looks amazing with these trousers <laughs> the trousers on their own are amazing they are again a little bit longer but nothing a little like cuff wouldn't sort out a high heel when i have heels on they're perfect um, and they fit beautifully around the waist. Grabbing the jacket to create like a layering piece. Another great way to style this up. Or doing it up completely and having like the shirt as a top to make it a complete set. The fit, the fit, the fit, the fit. The fit is the star of the show. How big and oversized this is. Almost looks like really expensive. I can't even describe it. It's very like celeb-esque. I don't know. Chocolate leather over the black. So it's still wearable, but not so samey. This has to be my favorite leather set that I own. Switching up the top. A little cropped sweatshirt in the quilted material. I believe this is coming in black as well, so keep your eyes out for that. But I have the nude with me to show you. Patchwork on the sleeve. It's such a nice crop as well, like it's not too short. It allows you, if you have bigger boobs, to still be able to wear this and it's not going to be up to your chin. The collar does have buttons though as well, which is cool. So you can actually do it up if you wanted. We really wanted a long-sleeved, like casual crop, if that makes sense. And I feel like adding the quilting effect on it just, just takes it from being like less plain. So cute. It's just a staple, guys. Then this. This has to be another firm favorite, guys. Are we ready? Guys, this set is so cool to me, honestly. And what's even cooler is the shorts come with the waist bits here. Two strings that you can just wrap around and tie together. And then the top, these bits come sewn together. If I come closer to show you, they're sewn together. So they're actually all one piece. So instead of having to buy like three separate bits, it's just two. Thumb holes again. We've got the label on the shorts, but also on the top as well. Fits so beautifully. And if you wanted to wear this with trainers during the day, you can. Or some heels at night. I actually have one more outfit of the illusion print to show you. So let's put it on. See, we actually have the dot print in a mesh cupboard this time. Obviously, it's all kind of double lined, so nothing is see-through. The skirt is all kind of like ruched up as well, which is obviously makes it really comfortable to wear. The sleeves are ruched too. Top has this like middle circle cut out, which I feel like is just really like sexy. Two tie bits around the waist. Depending on what you want, guys, whether you want a trouser cupboard, a two-piece like this, or a dress. It's all in there. Two more things to show you, and they are like the same, but just slightly different. They're not the same then. <laughs> These are them. I'm gonna go put them on. Ignore the fact that I don't have a bra on with this because I think I would personally just to give it a little bit of shape, but this is the polo shirt style dress 
in this collection. Had to, of course, have numerous throw on pieces because you guys know it's just so me. This light gray one though is just really, really simple. The only thing it has is the label detail on the sleeve. To say about it, guys, it kind of just does all the talking. Real big, oversized chill. I mean, if you've got some of the misguided kind of like Playboy style stuff, hoodie dresses and some of the like t-shirt dresses and stuff like that, it's that same sort of vibe. It's that same style and shape. But of course, the Jordan Lips can make some misguided version. Speaking of drawn lips commence misguided, the last piece, this is very much that style. I'll show you. You see what I mean? The nude and chocolate flames. It's of course got the 21 Gen X and G on the back. Super lightweight and comfortable, comfortable to wear, you know? I feel like I really like these with like trainers or like knee high boots. Guys, that is literally everything in the Jordan Lipscomb X Misguided, the Tonals Collection collab. I need to know what your favorites are. Let me know down below. I'm gonna be in the comments when this goes live. I am shitting myself. <laughs> Tomorrow, if you watch this when it goes live is when the collection launches, or if not, it's Tuesday the 17th of August at 8 a.m. Am I nervous? Yeah but I know you guys are gonna love it. If you do get anything, please tag me and share with me and just let me know, like show, show me everything. I wanna see it all. I love you and I will see you soon. 